What did you think of the museum? It was amazing. All those beautiful paintings. I didn't realize the Mona Lisa was so small in real life. Yes, I know. The only problem was the museum was so big that we didn't have enough time to see everything. Let's go to Italy for our summer holiday. Good idea. Where about? Well, we've been to Florence and Venice already. We've never been to Rome before. What do you think? Of those three cities, I liked Venice the best. Remember last summer? There was so much to see and do there, and the food was simply delicious. I have some good news. I got the promotion I wanted, and now it's my job to set up our new offices in Japan. Congratulations! I'm so happy for you. I know you really wanted to go to Japan. All those Japanese lessons will finally be put to the test. So when are you leaving? Next month. The International Society are planning a trip to Oxford next week. Would you like to go? That sounds interesting. Yes, I think I will. I went with them to Edinburgh a few months ago. It was very interesting. Edinburgh is such a great city. I even had a deep-fried Mars bar. Have you ever tried one of those? They're a Scottish speciality. No, a fried Mars bar doesn't appeal to me. Anyway, the tickets for the Oxford trip cost ten pounds. I'm going by the office later to pick up mine. Would you like me to get you one? Yes, that would be great. Thanks. When are you leaving? Next month. What are you planning to do while you're visiting all those countries? Well, I don't plan to do anything while I'm in Thailand apart from swimming. But when I get to Australia, I'm going to do conservation work. After that, I will spend some time in India and do volunteer work at an orphanage in Calcutta. Wow, that's really good. Now I wish I were taking a gap year instead of going straight to university. So what were you doing in Papua New Guinea? Were you on holiday? Not exactly. I was there studying one of the tribes for my research project at university. It was really fascinating. This tribe lives in a remote village in the jungle. They are called tree people because they build their houses up in the trees. Some of their houses were forty feet above the ground. What were these people like? It was difficult at first as they don't trust outsiders. We were helped a lot by a British researcher who has been working there for a number of years. As soon as they realized we weren't a threat, they were very friendly.